as I mentioned that I have the data available. Suppose opportunities, if I open this Excel and this particular data, first of all, you need to understand that what is there in this data, the columns, account ID, campaign, close date, contact ID, and here you can see the category, then forecast category name. Here is the activity date, last modified, lead source, stage name, amount, expected revenue, fiscal year, so total opportunity quantity. This particular data is CSV file. If you see here, properties comma separated value csv file so i'll get this data csv is a text file so we'll get the data click more so you will see file here and text or csv file so i'll connect and here you can see in the sample data we have this opportunities and once you click it will automatically understand that what type of data set is there you can directly load it or you can transform it i'll click on load it will take some time to load the complete data and now 706 rows it has loaded. So first of all, I'll delete all these extra pages which were there. So we can rename the page here at this place. So I'll mention it opportunities, sync bricks, demo. And now on right side, if you see this is data here. In case you want to see the data, you will simply click on the data view and it will show you that data over here. Now we can transform the data. We can add, of course, measures. We can change the column types. Now, for example, if this is expected revenue, if you click here, you can see the data type here on the top right side. It shows the decimal number. We can change it to fix the decimal number or whole number or decimal number or if it is date time so we can do that also last modified date so this is date and time so i can change it from here to date only for example so it can mention the date only or if i want to change it to time also so i can do that so this is about transforming the data you can change it the way you like or even i can add a new column also here if i right click here and i can add the new measure or new column so which i'll explain you next now we'll not go to model view because there is only one table which is available right now we'll go with the more complex data set also but first of all we'll go with this opportunity so only one table is there if i add a new measure so measure name can be for example percentage and here you can add some of all the opportunities amount some of it could be uh, expected revenue. So maybe you want to calculate the percentage of expected revenue to opportunity amount. So you can add this new measure. And of course, in case you want to use percentage sign or whatever formula you want to have. So this is simple DAX function. So it will show the percentage. I'll just go back here to visual and here you can search for the data. So this particular measure is added now here. Now, for example, this is created date. So in case you want to only see the month by simply right click new column and new column will be for example month and it will be month of which date so your date is created date and dot month. So you can use in that way also or you can simply use this month function here. So you can see here month number seven. These are all the new columns that you're adding create now expected amount new column here. So it will be a difference for example and it is similarly you are using in your excel sheet so you can use that also amount minus expected amount will do so here it shows you amount expected revenue so this new column is added here you can see difference right now it shows zero or in some places the value is there so this way you can start adding multiple columns and multiple measures if i refresh the data it will get the data and keep those columns it will not delete these columns now, for example we created the percentage so if i show you here difference so these two columns are added here so it will keep these columns there and you can add more measures into it 